Now it's uh What's this thing got on it, Damo? Is this your car? <laughs> Tell us about this car, Liam. Look at the big but that's Big muddy, Yeah, jump in and uh, show us how it goes. Hey Naomi, how are you? Yeah, not bad. Come and look in the back. The back, that's where your seats are. Yeah. Look, I'll see Emma's back and Damon's back. The racing seats. Yeah, yeah. more of racing seats. <laughs> Face, it just depends. No. Yeah, I'll have a go, babe. No. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I'm Smash Garage. Ruben gives me a reverse my horse. <laughs> <laughs> Ruben's actual channel is just a prank channel. I definitely leave the chops though. <laughs> Not touching the chops. Who said anything about touching the chops? No one said anything, but it's all good. <laughs> don't get wild. <laughs> Come on, fellas, I don't want to play chess all day. Aren't we going forward driving? We're just about to hit our local track. Now she's got the floor runner here. I've never actually seen it off road, so looking forward to see how it goes. Even though he hasn't got the air lockers in it, all goes pretty good. So easy, lemon squeezy. Pretty sure my tyres are down to zero because I let them down last weekend and haven't checked them again since. So I think I'll just chuck a little bit of air in. Make sure I don't lose a tire on a rim. Need some beadlocks. Don't all patrol drivers just have beadlocks? I have beadlocks. Yeah. But I got sick of pumping them up all the time because I was only driving every couple of weeks. Yeah. <laughs> See what happens when you're sensible? Some nice little windy tracks. Quite narrow. Not too challenging though. So while Ash was going around Australia, we blew up a diff and put a random diff in. The ratio was a bit wrong, so we've rectified that, but there's no lockers in it, so we'll see how it goes. Just cruise, it up, cruise up the easy way. So 
throwing rocks at me. Lifting two corners here. Here's when the lockers would be nice. Love that mechanically injected 1KZ motor. Bloody cool. What's that? No lockers is killing me. <laughs> it's terrible, man. IFS is the worst idea. <laughs> Whoever invented that. You could have bought a patrol, but you wanted to be unique, didn't you? I'm always unique, bro. You wanted a sunroof yeah. and comfort. <laughs> is that fun, Damo? Damo's like, just remember, you've got to try and sell this. Yeah, isn't this for the ad? <laughs> We're gonna post this on the gum tree ad. Only used on the weekend sometimes, maybe. Yeah. Uh, what am I doing? Don't even know how to pull drive anymore. Alright, let's try another angle. Gotta give it more curry, bro. Curry? This is not an Indian for drive, bro. It doesn't run on the curries. Oh, the rice. Yeah, give it some rice. Sushi. Going back to my GQ. Can't see it, but I can hear that silver pop running down there. She's still good. Now we're going to take some hard lines on the way up here. Get it to flex a bit. I'll go the whole way without using the locker. This gully here is not bad. Definitely need lockers to get through that. But yeah, wouldn't have the traction without the front locker in there. I reckon Ruben should do it without the locker in because it's fair. It's pretty, it's pretty easy. What? Yes. Up to you, man. Left hand down, bruv. My clutch is frying, man. Left hand down more.
Okay, stop for a sec. Boys, come up on this fire bit. I reckon in that hole you snap. It sounded pretty loud. Something sounded not so great. Taking whiffs of burn clack and snapping diffs. Or something like that. Axles. Axles. Diffs. I don't know, mate. I got IFS. <laughs> don't know nothing about the diff life. Yeah, this wheel here's not even turning. Never was. And the lock is on. Never was before. <laughs> yeah, mate. Got a dead leg. Again. It unsnapped itself. <laughs> Missions, eh? years and then me three years and now with the 35s and the thrashings off-road it's getting pretty worn out and slipping and you can smell it every now and again so got to pull another car of mine apart in my spare time which I have none of but yeah we'll get it sorted drive this car the more I love it but every time I wash it I see more rust and it's just so far gone besides being mechanically really strong um, yeah the body just lets it down big time so I think I'll just be uh, driving it till the body is all dinged up and rotten and then body swapping it hopefully before I get yellow sticked okay. this is the wrong way I got a bit carried away there <laughs> I was having too much fun going Ricky Bobby there <laughs> and we went the wrong way <laughs> so we're going to do a Yui yeah. I'm here all the time but I just never get over that view hey you can't really see it on the GoPro but Perth City all the suburbs bush it's pretty nice it's one thing this spot doesn't really have is uh, water or big hill or big mud pits or anything because it's all uh, very hilly, everything just drains off the hill. But yeah, it's awesome for rocks and obstacles. Where do you want to go? Oh, definitely this way. Follow my tracks. The Freedom Machine. Mechanically injected 1KZ forerunner on four inches of lift, or three inches. I think it was five inches body lift suspension and 33s for now. Yeah, she's good. Didn't even lift a wheel.
you probably lift wheels here. Beauty about the forerunners, they don't make them anymore though, is they actually have a coil sprung rear end instead of leaf sprung like the KUN 26s or N70s, N80s. Nice. So they actually flex real decent at the back end. Ah, uh, were you hitting your front bar? No. Your tyre's hitting the guard. I think he took an inch of lift off the front because he wanted to daily it. And he hasn't been out for driving like that. Now it's uh <laughs> It's got plenty of clearance, hey. All these people with IFS all around Pajeros be like Man, this is the most capable four-wheel drive. It's so good. So you like, own an IFS oh, all-around Pajero? Yeah, I know. <laughs> but everybody keeps telling me, man, this thing's so good off-road. And I'm like, I just can't see it. And now I remember why. Hey. This thing's awesome. See, there's some people are trying your hill route. Yeah, I want to go and have a look. Yeah, let's have a look. Let's go find it. It's bellied out on the leaves. It's a bit of a rig. How steep it is here. Good effort. Nice. Happy there's the hardest bit to get up. Last little hill to get out. Doesn't look like much, but there's lots of rocks and it's quite quite technical. I've never seen an IFS car get down it or up it so so it'll be the first for me to see Ash do it. First that gets put it in number one and put it on the slow mode and then put it double sushi power and then <laughs> just crawl it up. You gotta go hard left at the top here. Do what I want. Oh yeah Start. do what you want. Go hard right at the top you mad dog. Go left a bit. Yeah, that's good. Now go straight. Yeah. Nah, you've got heaps of clearance there. Yeah, this rock here is normally the stopping point for all IFS cars because they come down here off the road and they just can't get across that without wrecking their deer. And obviously they can't get up that or up any of that really. But yeah, Ash's got heaps of clearance. Kieran made it look hard. Kieran makes everything look hard. That was a fun little trip up Red Hill. Little couple of hour trip with the Moors after they came over for haircuts. Been wanting to go off roading with that forerunner for ages because um, I only ever see it sitting in Ash's shed. They have a flipping hat, but to be rid of me, they were really glad a loser, a stoner, a cracker, a drunk. I remember the days it was fun to run and luck. I'm not no more, man, I'm not hardcore. I'm just so poor and I'm just so lonely. Do what in my life or keep being a phony. I grew up in church, but I hated it. I didn't want God and I stated it. So like, now I have no mates, except for those junkies that I used to hang around. They would clean me out a second because they meant they were going to get on. I mean, there was a couple of times where they did clean me out. As a dog returns to its vomit, I went back because I had no one. It was just so lonely. Ended up in rehab at 17. 17 years old, I'm in rehab. What's up with that? It's like...
like Wake up in the morning, now I'm 24 Got my girlie by my side and I don't want no more I've been clean for 7 years now We've all seen that guy in the 79 actually Twin locked with a factory GXL diffs He gave that uh, treacherous hill climb a little bit of a go See how far up, far up he wanted to go And he got further than Patrol on 33s with no lockers, which was decent, even though his uh, spring hangers were dragging all the way up the hill. But yeah, he was a bit of a lad, didn't mind uh, giving it a bit of curry up there. He just didn't want to take it all the way up and smash his doors or anything like that, for obvious reasons when you spend that sort of money on a, on a Land Cruiser. Right, Ash, thanks for spending the morning with me, mate. Here's your 20 bucks that I owe you. Just nice. have to pay you to be my friend and all. Yeah, okay. It's, it's okay. It's 20 bucks is worth it, you're right. It's definitely worth it, man. You're a good, good bloke, eh? Hey? <laughs> I'll give you 30 next time if you hang out with me for two and a half hours. Okay, what about three? I'm pretty long cash. Uh, you can do some more mods. Yeah? Yeah. Three hours? 40 bucks? Yeah, sounds good. I reckon we can do that.